Uh, today's uh, topic is rational yin equality. And again, just like my previous videos, I use a shortcut. The rational function I am, uh, as a first example, is x squared minus x minus 2 divided by x squared plus x minus x squared plus x minus 12 larger than equal to 0. OK. If you go to the textbook, and the textbook probably uh, use a table, which is called interval table. Let me show you the, how the interval table looks like. So this is the textbook. And uh, this table. This table is called interval table. So from the interval table, you can figure out uh, your answer. Uh, the x value is between what and what, and you have the larger than 0 or smaller than 0. So you need an interval table. But to do the interval table, it takes some time. So that's why I uh, used both uh, in my previous uh, videos and in this video, I just recommend using my shortcut, which is to draw a number line. So let's proceed with my shortcut. The first thing to do is to factor the numerator and factor the denominator. So the result of factoring is, I'm not showing the detail of the factoring, which is x minus 2 and uh, x plus 1 divided by x minus 3 and uh, x uh, plus 4 larger than equal to 0. Now, the next is to figure out the zeros from the numerator and also the zeros from the denominator. And the zeros are x equals 2, x equals negative 1, x equals 3, x equals negative 4. And then you have four points. Draw a number line. OK, let's see now. Negative 4 should be here. And negative 1. And then I have 2. I have 3. Check the uh, sign of the x squared term. So the x squared term is positive, and uh, the denominator, the x squared term, is also positive. So positive divided by positive gives you positive. So I start with positive sign on the right-hand side. So I write positive, negative, positive, negative, and positive. What do I want? I want larger than 0 or equal to 0. So I want positive. Larger than 0 means positive. So I want this part, this part, this part. So immediately, by using the number line, I have the answer right away, which is so quick. So x is less than negative 4, which is this part. And now this part is between negative 1 and 2 negative 1, 2, put the x in between, just write down the inequality sign, and this part is x larger than 3. Now we need to take care of the equal sign. You don't let look at the zeros of the bottom, because when the denominator is 0, it's not defined. So it's only x equals 2 here, you have the equal sign, 
and x equals negative 1, which will give you 0, so this. That's it. That's my answer. So it's simple by using a uh, uh, shortcut. The next example. Okay, the next example is x minus 2. Uh, x plus 1 with a square. And the denominator is x minus 4, uh, x plus 5. And uh, it's larger than or equal to 0. Okay, remember that if your rational function is not factored, the first step is to factor the both numerator and denominator. Okay, as before, I want the zeros. So x equals 2, negative 1, positive 4, negative 5. Draw a number line. Mark down all the zeros. Negative 5, negative 1, 2, What do I want? I want larger than 0 or equal to 0, which means positive. And look at the x squared term. x squared is positive. This x is positive, a positive, positive. So everything is positive. So I have positive. But remember, this negative 1 is order 2. Remember in last video, if you have even orders, you do not change the plus minus sign. The, the signs on the left and on the left and on the right uh, of the order to zero, uh, these two signs are the same. So I have plus, minus, plus, and again plus and minus. So what is my answer? I want positive. So I, my answer is here, my answer is here, my answer is here. So, because I have zero, uh, uh, I have equal to zero, so two is a possible answer because that makes things zero, equal to zero. Negative one is also possible, is also an answer. So, my answer is this part and this part including the negative 1, okay? So, my answer is negative 5, 2, 2, including negative 1. So, you just write this way. And 2 is included, so equal, okay? And another answer is x larger than 4. Is that simple? It's very simple to use a shortcut, and very quick, and it's always correct. Next example, uh, x squared minus 16 over x squared minus 4x minus 5 larger than zero. Okay, for this one, uh, the function is not factored form, so I factor it. x plus 4, x minus 4. This is the difference of two squares. So. And this is a trinomial, so you factor the trinomial. x minus 5, x plus 1, larger than 0. Next is to write down the zeros. x equals negative 4, positive 4, positive 5, negative 1. Number line, negative 4, negative 1, 4, 5. This this multiply, you have a positive x squared, 
multiply you have also positive x square so everything is positive positive there is no order two so just alternate the signs one plus minus plus minus plus what do i want i want plus here 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 so x is less than negative four between negative one and four x in between in between so I write this and then x is larger than 5 see I have the answer right away very quick next example okay, okay next example okay, just a minute I just get the example okay uh, x minus 2 over x less than x minus 4 over x minus 6. Ah, I have a rational function on my right hand side as well as on the left hand side. So the way of doing this is to move the right hand function to the left side. So, the next step is this. You move it to the left-hand side. And then it is less than zero. So, the, my right-hand side is zero now. Then what you do is common denominator. common denominator I'm sure you can do the common denominator and then and then uh, simplify the numerator so I'm not going to give you the detail of simplification the result is uh, minus 4x and uh, plus 12 Okay, this is a result of uh, simplifying the numerator. Let me double check now. This is 12. 12 minus plus 4. No, no, no. This is just 12. So it's, it's this. Yeah, this is right. And then you can factor out the negative 4. Factor out negative 4 from the numerator. Okay, then it's routine. You write down the uh, zeros. So zero is x equals three from this bracket, x equals three. And from this factor, x can equal to zero. And from this factor, x is six. So these are my zeros. So I have three zeros and I draw a number line. Okay, so now draw a number line. I put down 0, 3, and 6. x, x, x. So what is the sign? It's negative. You see the negative here? So it's negative. Do I have order 2? No. All of them are order one, order one here, order one, order one. So I alternate, negative plus, minus plus. Do I want what? Negative, negative. So I have the answer between zero and three. X in between, so I have that. And this answer, X is larger than six. Uh, in this question, I have no equal sign equal to zero, so I don't need to worry about equal sign here. So this is the answer. So let me make a summary. To do 
inequality. It doesn't matter whether it's rational inequality or a polynomial inequality or quadratic inequality. You need to factor the function first. And from the factored form, you find the zeros. If it's a rational function, you find the zeros of the numerator and the zeros of the uh, denominator. Once you have the zeros, use a number line and put down all the zeros and just mark down plus minus plus minus. But watch, if you have order 2, order 4, order 6, then you do not alternate plus minus sign. If you have odd, power, odd power, uh, order, then order 1, order 3, order 5, then you alternate plus minus sign. And once you have the plus minus sign marked down on the number line, you can write down the answer. And that is all for today's lecture. Thank you for watching. Uh, see you next time. Goodbye.